on October 29th, uh, Hurricane Sandy um, hit uh, Union Beach very, very hard. The whole night had to keep the windows open in order to breathe on the, on the second floor of the house. So because um, once the water started washing in, we wound up uh, getting um, about 200 gallons of diesel to home heating fuel washing through our house and our property. And the smell was overwhelming and nauseating. So we spent the entire night trying to uh, make sure that the children were okay. For Colin, my five-year-old, we explained to him it was just, you know, it was just like kind of like camping. My older son, Ethan, uh, he was 11 at the time, he stayed glued to the window because he kept hearing people screaming for help throughout the night. Nine o'clock in the morning, I started making all the phone calls. I called the homeowner's insurance. I called the flood insurance. I called the car insurance to put the claims in and everything and, and got everything rolling. We've been fighting with them because they're claiming that they don't cover the oil damage. Even though it's flood related, it's not their problem. So that left us with applying now for the uh, community disaster block grants and just waiting. We've been through our, our, our initial process for the RREM grant. It's been three and a half weeks since my interview process, uh, a week and a half, almost two weeks since I, compl I handed in every receipt, everything that they had requested, and I still have yet to hear anything. And when I called to question them, they say to give it another week. Receptionist I had spoken to at the uh, Housing Recovery Center had told me that um, she doesn't know where I heard that I would have gotten a phone call, but I should be waiting three weeks for a letter. I feel like nobody really knows the the, the protocol. Or I, I, I don't even believe that there is a protocol. It's very difficult to watch the Stronger Than the Storm commercials to see Christy bragging about how hard they work to get the boardwalks back in business and the uh, tourist sites, but you forget about the communities in between that are just left to just be covered in mold and, and dust and, and just left like a pile of debris. The days seem to repeat themselves because it just, I, I feel like we come up empty every day. And, um, you know, it's, it's been nine months of waiting. It's been nine months of, of October 30th. And although it's cleaner around here now, it still feels the same. It's walking out of the house that morning. I, mean, I just don't feel like we've really gotten anywhere. And I'm, I'm tired. My family's tired. It's just taken such a toll on us. Four of us living in a 37 foot trailer. It gets to be old after a while. It's like the never ending camping trip. I'm one of thousands of families that are in the same predicament that it seems like it's just forgotten about. Here we are nine months later, and I still can't even go back in my house. And I feel like I, nobody's really fighting for us.